the picture before you shows horses men riding them with swords in their hands and shields in their hand you see the dead person also this is a complete picture of a small little battle you can't call it war and this is what was predominant feature of the arabs before islam arabs were very very offensive people why were they if offensive there are tremendous reasons for that we'll talk about few they were offensive because of ignorance they had no education they had left the divine concepts they had left to 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 pay homage or ibadat allah rabbul izzat ke liye they had created their own method also ignorance is removed once you have institutions once you have meetings with the fun people once you have relations with various kinds of people they teach you a lot but if you remain solely absolutely privately at one place among the same people for a prolonged 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 and prolonged period ignorance is bound to prevail and if the ignorance prevails it develops offensive attitude among the people and that offensive attitude ultimately leads to nothing but battles and fights so they cost it was their constant business it was a constant step feature inseparable part of their society to keep fighting with each other for example even if a goat of one tribe had gone to another tribe and they did not hand it over themselves a small little battle will take place a fight will take place and that fight was typical fight or battle of those times when the horses swords arrows and bows were used why it was like that it was like that because there were no countries there were no demarcated boundaries for the countries or different nations they were the same people but they had divided themselves into various tribes keeping in view their uh, inheritance and that was the source of problem for everything and for their offensive attitude you see what happened was if there are four tribes every tribe would consider him to be the best tribe to be the leading tribe to be the more most honorable to be the most important ruling dominant and there was absolutely no law how a law can take place or how a law can be framed if there is no country if there is no government if there is no nation tribes had their own laws they were tradition 